What's going on? Welcome to the Pick Five channel. What's going on? Yeah, no. yeah. Hope y'all are great. Hope y'all are blessed. Say I'm Friday today, bro. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say going out, but we going outside. We going outside. outside. In the city, yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, yeah. And as well as you guys are watching, please like, share, subscribe, share this video to as many people as you can, share to your mother, your father, your stepfather, your stepsister, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we ready, we're going to be meeting up with our prince, um, he's already waiting for us outside. Um, I'm just waiting on this homie. I think he's looking for his truth. Crackheads. Today. Today really easy. Hey, bud. Nigga. Yeah, guys, we're stepping outside. Let's go, man. Nigga's Yeah, let's head out. That's what's up. Hey, y'all, so I'm gonna have to apologize on the amount of times this nigga's gonna say that's what's up the entire video. Bro literally discovered the word and he couldn't stop saying it. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Okay. That's what's up, yeah. man. Yes, yeah. sir. What's good, what's good you two? It's a boy, Mbadi. I'm playing EOV Prince. You the name if you ask, and I don't know what to say. This is my first time behind the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, something like, you know what I'm saying? If you we just, we just, we just yeah. it out. You yeah, feel me? Something like, something like. Never. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> nah. No diddy though. You know what my problem is about cutting on is that they oh. don't change. They don't change the the style. It's like the same thing. It's like the same thing. Never changes that. But you know, fuck with this. This. I see a lot of people get these. I like this shirt. Yeah, this is fine, man. Four hundred. If now, hear me out, bro. Nah. Hear me out. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. Prince <laughs> Quaid. Uh huh. I put my boys on to that Cinnabon, man. It's my first time eating this. Very first time eating it. Why is it hot, bro? Give this a whole solid nine. Solid nine? Solid oh, ten. yeah. W's for me. You know how I go. That's crazy. J the nigga. <laughs> Let's get that first bite. Get that first bite. Mm -hmm. Solid mm -hmm. ten. Bro. The solid ten? Come on now. You know how it go. You put us on for real. I put y'all on for real. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Let me open the door for you, nigga. <laughs> hey, what's up, sir? I'm playing. Hey, it's yeah. a joke. It's a joke. Wanna try and I just your friend or what's the point of life? Baby, I could have been. Yeah, I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's 
seen how I look, nigga? You yeah, see how I... I'm trying to tell you, though. I'm trying to tell you, dude. All right, that's right. Powers, powers, somebody got a hot it was on the train. I the fan, I was on the line. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. Love y'all. Stay, Stay safe. Stay safe too. Yeah, man. Love y'all. Love y'all. Let's rock. That's Shut up. <laughs> Yo, I need liquor. And I mean, like, I need it right now. It's the middle of 10 p.m. And I'm surrounded by liquor stores, about 6 to 7. Yeah? I want booze. And it's 10 p.m. And most of all of the liquor stores that are surrounded in my per um, perimeter, they're literally closed. Now, there's one place, for some odd reason, it's not closed. It's surrounded by a whole lot of niggas. It's literally a dick fest there. But, hey, if there's a dick fest, then, of course, there's alcohol. There is booze. I had in, they said, yo, entry fee, it's about like 150. I asked, yo, what makes this place make me want to pay 150 just to enter? The security guard literally just looked at me and he just kept quiet. You know what? It is what it is. There is no other place where I can get booze. So I might as well as pay for this shit. So I pay 150 and I also pay for my homie. So I basically paid 300 just to get into that place. The moment I step in, I see a bar. Nice. I see every liquor that I could ever imagine, that I could imagine and I could get booze drunk out of. So I had there i don't even let me trust me the level of ignorance that i had at that moment i did not bother to look left i did not bother to look right i went straight to the bar and bought every liquor that i needed i bought at least two gardens one russian beer and a couple of six and, and, a, six, and a six pack just to hold the plug ne? you know not to sound like i'm a heavy alcoholic but that's i needed it i really needed it so my homie he gets through and he pulls up to me and he's like hey bro i don't think this is just any tavern or a club and i'm like what are you talking about nigga like i'm literally paying for my shit right now i'm just in a rush to leave nigga is like yo bro like please check around and tell me if maybe i'm not seeing shit alone i see stripper poles okay that's kind of off but they're empty i see no shorty my friend tells me again yo bro you're not looking carefully look again i turn my head fully there's literally a naked woman stripping on the pole I mean naked, my, my nigga. Like, not, not a honey on a bikini or anything. Literally GTA 5 shit. I take my booze. I take my booze. I take my booze. Fucking security stops me and, be, and he's like, yo, bro, you cannot leave until you finish that. I'm like, why? Hey, bro, there's a reason why you paid 150 to get in here. Now you are going to use that 150 that you paid for and you're going to drink in here. No alcohol is to leave the premises. Okay, shop. It's fine. So I chill down with my homie and I drink. I drink, I drink, I drink, I drink. Did I mention there's over about 8 to 10 women roaming around there looking for men who are willing to pay a bit of BBC inside that kitty? This lady pulls up to me and she tells me I could do anything for you just for a certain price. Now don't judge me. I busted inside her throat. Couple of back shots. A little foreplay. Busted in at least about six minutes. 